me get myself together here. <clears throat> morning, morning, morning. How y'all doing out there in YouTube land? I thank you so much for joining me this morning. Those of you out there in YouTube land, those who uh, will be joining the chat, I would assume, and uh, those who will listen to this uh, broadcast uh, at a later date, I thank you so much for your giving me, it's always an honor, a little bit of your time to speak to you what we feel needs to be told. Contrary to popular belief, I have been on this medium since 2007. So that means I have been here long before young Pharaoh. I have been here long before Tariq Nasheed, long before Hassan Campbell, long before Sanetta TV, long before all these persons that you foam at the mouth about. And the only reason why you don't see my views and you don't see my channel in the stratosphere that you are impressed by is because of the oppression of Google, the oppression of YouTube. I am the only one who has had over 100 channels terminated. Nobody in this genre can say that. Nobody. Nobody can say that Google, the corporation itself, actually decided to participate in my destruction. I don't mind being called Talik Ibn Ra because that's my name. But when I first come to YouTube, the name that was targeted, click, click, for destruction was number seven, represented and continues to represent real truth, which bothers a whole lot of kinds of folks. And I will be truthful. Jewish people have never bothered me. And I have made videos speaking about the Holocaust. But they never flagged my channel, Jewish people, never. I have spoken, given my opinion about interracial relationships. And those people have never, hey, what's up, SM? And that group of people have never bothered me. And who else have never bothered me? Gay people have never flagged my channel. The ones guilty of flagging my channel, trying to destroy my voice, are white people, Caucasian, pink people, however you want to say it. They are the number one. Black women, yes, 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 yes. Black women, yes, yes. Black women flip-flop on me. First, they was my greatest supporters. Then I said something they didn't like. Then they attacked me. Matter of fact, to be honest and truthful, it was the sisters. It was the black woman that terminated my channel the very first time. That's the truth. Do I hate the sisters? As you can see, that did not bother me. I stayed on my grind and I stayed on my foundation. It was black women, soul sisters, that flagged and terminated my very first original channel. And then we have soul brothers, black men, that come out and flag my channel. So these are the ones, Caucasian people, black women and men, 
They are the ones, for some reason, have a problem with the reality, the real truth that comes from this rostrum. Why is that? Absolutely, SM. Absolutely. Why do you get, why do I make black women upset? And I am your number one defender. Why do black men get so upset? Well, I understand because I'm showing you that you're not the man that you claim to be. As SM in my chat room is saying, weak men. But you want to put on this show like you got it going on. And you're a bunch of cowards, weak, pathetic losers. We should be, if we are men, as you claim, we should be in a better position than we are now. But we're not. Because you don't stand as men. You have a penis and you're six foot seven and you can lift 300 pounds or whatever. That don't make you a man. And you got or you have 10, 20 babies across the country and you got a good job. You got a business. So what? The Chinese man is not impressed by you. The white man is not impressed by you. The African man is not. Nobody is impressed by you. Except another slave. <laughs> I don't know why you two censor your, your comment. <laughs> Makes you a loser. <laughs> I, want, I want that scene. Leave SM alone. <laughs> That's the truth. Makes you a loser. So some of you may be impressed. And you might think that it's such a good thing. Oh, Angel Snub Nub 7 is on so, so and so channel. Uh, so and, Angel Snub Nub 7 is. Uh, Want to get on Sinetta TV, get on Young Pharaoh platform. You think that does something for me. I, I am what you call an OG. And my wisdom is greater than anything they have on their channel. I am the most powerful voice on YouTube, on social media. They have nothing, none of them. You put all of them together. They have nothing that can rival what comes from here. I am the original. I am unique. I'm not regurgitating nothing. You never see me come here and I got to share all the screen and, and regurgitate information because I am depending on you to think for yourself because you already know. I have faith in you that you use your brain for a damn change. I don't need to screen share. I don't have to tell you about a book. You already know so much. But you are allowing yourself to become the screen share. You are allowing yourself to become the book instead of who you are. I am original. I am unique. I don't want to be nobody else. I ain't no damn African. I ain't no damn Muslim. I ain't no damn Moor. I am who I dictate I'm going to be. And they don't like that because they're a bunch of copycatters, a bunch of plagiarists, a bunch of regurgitators, like a dog that vomit and lick the vomit right back up. That's what they are. When you come here, I'm giving us fresh food. I'm not giving you no damn vomit. I'm not giving you somebody's leftovers. Thank you, SM. I wish I was on StreamYard so I could put your, uh, your comments up. I'm not offering you no damn vomit here. I'm giving you fresh food straight off the tree. What is the tree? The tree is the universe that we all come from. The ability to use your brain, not copy what somebody else say about what you say, your mind. 
and they don't like that. And everything they teach, everything they regurgitate, they don't like the fact I counter it and make it look like vomit because that's what it is. Vomit. Regurgitation. Mass intellectual masturbation. And as a and like many of you know, masturbation does not create life. And so we follow them and we are lifeless and we're vomit. Now, if that's your thing, if, if you're a scavenger, if you're a parasite, that's good for you. So you go get your vomit. You go get your, your leftovers. But when you come here, we offer fresh food. Clean, organic. Slice it up. Dice it up. Make sure before I even prepare it, I wash my hands. Because I want to give you a clean, good meal. Because it's not about me. It's about what is in the best interest of your mind. I'm not trying to convert you to nothing. I am letting you know why something has disease. Don't cook that meat. It's not at the right temperature. Wash your hands before you cut that. That's what we're about here. So don't get it twisted. I don't need Sinetta TV. I don't need Young Pharaoh. I don't need Sarah Susan Seti. I don't need no damn body. It's up to you. What's up there, Deacon? We don't need nobody. We got YouTube. That's good enough. These other clowns we don't need. I'm not impressed by them. We want to come on your platform so that we can help message, not my message, to talk about this plan we call Mississippi Campaign. Because I know you can't handle my ministry. I know you can't handle that because if people embrace what I'm talking about, all of these people game is over. It's over for Sandetta TV. It's over for Louis Farrakhan. It's over for Young Pharaoh. It's over for all these blackity black, blackity in the, in the blackity power black hotel. Assalamu alaikum, uh, uh, but Ghani, whatever they want to call them, their confused ass self. It's over. My rise means their end. Because we don't need that crap no more. We don't need to eat vomit no more. Regurgitation. No more being a zombie. You are going to be a We bring in life here. We don't be talking about dead people all the damn time. Malcolm X said is. And 5,000 years ago, all that dead crap, all this dead stuff. This is 2021. When you going to rise from the grave and become alive? When you going to be that phoenix? You're never going to rise listening to that garbage because that's the grave. It's dead. And I'm just like Tupac. I'm not mad at you. That's what you want to do. So be it. But don't complain. Because the coffin stink. The coffin is supposed to stink. Because it has a dead body in it. Fool. We're not in the coffin. We're not in the graveyard. I give honor. To those who. Came before me. But we don't worship the dead here. And we know that the dead cannot help us here. Because we are alive. When you join the dead, maybe they might be able to help you. We're in two different worlds. The world of the dead and the world of the living. We are in the world of the living. So we honor Malcolm and we honor Garvey. And we honor the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. We honor Dr. King and Coretta Scott and Betty Shabazz 
and all our freedom fighters, all those who came before, my mother, your mother, your father, your cousins who are no longer here, but they cannot help us. So why are we spending so much time about what they did? It should be about what we're doing, what we get, what we can get done. They can't help us. They did their best when they were alive. So don't get it twisted. We had a, a video that we played last night that was a re-upload for Sister Noble's channel. And uh, last time I looked, it had eight dislikes. <laughs> Woo! And the title was something to the effect, giving Guy Nollywood Jr. and that faceless troll Alquan the attention that they crave. Now, in reference to this guy, Nollywood, Pan-African, whatever he want to call it, he looked like an Arab, but whatever he think that he is, what really caused him to hate Angel Snup Nup 7, to stalk and try to destroy, flag my channel, try to slander my name, why he did this, I will tell you. Is because he apologized to me for whatever. It has something to do with our soul brother, Maurice Muhammad, and he would be here Wednesday and talk with us, 6 p.m. Central Time. <clears throat> brother Maurice Muhammad, who is the executive director of the Mississippi initiative campaign our brother maurice will be talking with us tomorrow evening so he apologized to me what brings him anger is i did not accept the apology and that pissed him off because what he said did not only affect me. What he said affected our soul brother Talib. He was making mockery of brother Talib's speech and maybe his looks because he was upset with me. And so he attacked anybody affiliated with me including Sister Nova, call her a mammy and some other things. Bed wench, I believe. So he approached me to apologize for his behavior in reference to our brother, Maurice Muhammad. And I said, and I told him, I, I cannot accept that. That's nice, but I cannot accept. I, can ex I cannot accept your apology because you attacked not only me and made mockery of me, but this ministry itself you did. You made mockery of Brother Talib and Sister No. So I cannot accept your apology unless your apology is directed to myself, soul brother Talib, and soul sister Noble, and this ministry itself, because we didn't do a damn thing to you. You don't like what we say. You don't like the fact that we don't want to be Africans or whatever your problem is. That's on you. I never said nothing about you. Nobody here done nothing towards you. And so that's where his anger comes from. 
you're not going to apologize to me and not apologize to soul brother Talib. Soul brother Talib has proven beyond a shadow of a doubt he ride with Angel Snuffin' Up 7. Without a shadow of a doubt. So anything, any apology to me, you're going to give him an apology too because he's this. Talib is reality's temple on earth. Talib is Operation Exodus Mississippi. That's what he is. So he's angry. Kick rocks, roll out. I don't need you. We don't need you. Give a damn how angry you get. Anybody on this platform, you attack them, this family, you have to apologize to all. The apology is not accepted. You want a skinny grin in my face. But what about the ones, other people here on this panel that you have insulted? You can stay angry to the day you die. I could care less. If you really was a man, if you really had any character and honesty and integrity, that's what you would do. You would offer an apology to all of us. But they're arrogant. This is why, and I'm not proud of myself, this is why I had to respond to that sister who disrespect me. Because they come to us, first of all, they talk about how much they love black people. Oh, I love the black people. I do this for my people. I love the black people. Last time I looked, I'm a black people. As far as you're concerned, I'm a black people. So why you want to go off on me? And the way she came at me was unprovoked. I didn't do anything to cause her. We weren't in no deep argument. I was calling her names or something like that. I wasn't on her platform a good two minutes and she started disrespecting me. But that's another story. I stand with mine. Brother Talib is part of this rostrum, and he, he stands with me. He has proven 1,000% he stands with me. So I'm going to stand with him. Don't skin and grin in my face and ignore him, especially when you did attack him for no reason. He never said nothing about you. But see, they don't like me. So I'm going to attack Sister Noble. I'm going to do something to, to Sister Noble uh, to live, to try to get me. Bring your happy ass to me. These suckers know they can't do nothing with me. Not in an intellectual way. They can come here and call me names and all that kind of silly stuff, but an actual intellectual conversation, bring your Pan-African garbage, bring your education, you faceless troll, bring what you got, you can't do nothing. But that time is over because I don't want nothing to do with you. You're banned. I want nothing to do with you. You banned permanently forever. Mind your business. Go do what you have to do. <clears throat> now I want to say this. Our sister Noble does not need Sonetta TV or none of these platforms. The reason why you have a Sonetta TV or anybody that seek her on their platform is because 
she made a name and was strong to herself and has always been that. I have known the noble since 2009. And she's always been a fierce fighter, always been strong willed, always been sister noble. She had a video, I forgot what it was called, but something about capitalism. And it went viral. And she had all kinds of people come at her. None of these black men support the sisters. The only one really that was defending the sisters was me. So when they stopped coming after her, I was making videos to defend her Get your ass off my sister back. All these other folks that was around, they didn't do it. The only thing they're interested in is their pocket. Making, trying to make some money. Get some praise. Get some honor. Looking for booty. Whatever. I think her original channel had three, four, uh, three or four, five thousand subscribers. And she took the channel down because she felt as though her audience was not supporting her. So the hell with YouTube. The hell with these fake people. Right now, her channel is growing right back to the 4,000, 5,000 mark. And she has not because of nobody else. He made a video that talked about the T.I. and Tiny fiasco that gained her many, many video views. And she talked about the death threats to, to her friend, Alexis K. Tyler. And that brought, that's what pushed her up into the stratosphere. Not being on somebody else's platform. Because of her her talents. She's a powerful woman by herself. I'm the most powerful man. That's the most powerful woman. And I produce powerful women on this platform. Sister Karen, Sister Ingrid, Sister Deity. Nobody can handle my sisters, the soul sisters. Because these other women, they submissive and they regurgitate you know, weak. The sisters coming from here, strong, powerful, bold. <laughs> like MC Hammer said, you can't touch this. You can't touch this. No, Louis Farrakhan, Sister Ava, Farrakhan's daughter, all these other women that's out here talking or whatever, Cynthia G, Michi X, cannot do nothing with the soul sisters that come from this platform. I don't care how many views they get. And here I am, been on YouTube since 2007. And I want to remind us, if you don't know, since 2007, Angel Snuffin' Up 7 always have 10 subscribers, 10 views. I wish those, I wish the comments was up. We could see the comments from 2007. Angel Snuff 7 always. I get no comments. I only have 10 subscribers. I only get 10 views. That's the way it's been for me ever since I've been on YouTube. But, oh. <laughs> see, look. See, I might not, you YouTube, because of YouTube, I might not have hundreds and thousands of, of subscribers. But guess what? I'm concentrated. See, you, you remember that uh that commercial for for uh clothes detergent? Are you paying for actual detergent or are you paying for water? When you buy this product, you're getting pure detergent. Some of these other 
cleaners, they give you a bunch of water. I'm the detergent. These other suckers giving you a little detergent because some of the things they say, I mean, it's factual, it's true or whatever, but they're giving you water. When you come here, we're giving you pure detergent, washing power so that we can become clean. And when you finish washing with them, your clothes still dirty. <laughs> they can't touch me. They can't touch us. So we don't need them. What we need is the people. Well, all thing we need is for the people to know that we exist. That's all we need to know. I could care less about what they're doing. The people need to know. And once the people see this and understand this is the way to go, it's over for them. That's why they don't want nothing to do with me. That's why they don't want them to know about the Mississippi campaign because they're done. It's over. All this race hustling, all your race hustling and all your scholarship and all, all that stuff is done because the people don't need it. It's useless. I'm not impressed by none of them. Now, mind you, I respect your accomplishment. I respect your work, but it's not good enough. You are failing. You're not successful. And you want somebody to pat you on your franchise. So what? Thanks for the chicken. How does you becoming the new owner of a Popeye's chicken franchise, how does that help? the 40 million plus. It does not. But you want somebody to praise you. That's that's good boy. That good boy. We making progress. No, that's that's not progress. The Mississippi campaign, Operation Exodus Mississippi campaign represents real progress, real success. Real benefits. Not some fried chicken. I've known Sister Nova since 2009. And she quit making videos. I'm the one. And I'm not bragging on myself, but I am. I'm the one that reached out to her, motivated and inspired. Come on back, cause the people need your voice. Come on back, the people need your strength. Come back because you can go where I can't go. Come back and help raise your people up from the grave. And when she came, to my platform for the first time, she was a pure Christian. I never tried to convert her to anything. I just give my opinion. She tried to convert me to Christianity. I went to church with her. Don't bother me none. I sat in church with her and I watched her do her thing. You know, clap your hands, stomp your feet, Lord, Lord, in Jesus, uh, Lord, 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 you know how they do in church. No big deal. I go in church, I'm angel snuffing up seven. When I leave church, I'm still angel snuffing up seven. But I'm, I'm going to hang with this sister because I know her mind really is not there because I know her history. She's a thinker. She's a self-thinker. 
And I know it's just a matter of time that she's going to relieve herself of that or any of this stuff. I never put no pressure on her to do or say or believe in anything. I just kept making my points known. And you see where she end up at. She come here and develop here. And her power start coming back. So she's powerful to herself. I never asked her for a dime. I never asked her to do no special favors. When she was invited to go to Sarnetta TV, I never sat back in the cut. Uh, uh, I, don't, I don't want you to, to go to Sarnetta TV and blah, 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 blah. Go! Because the people need you. I never show no jealousy or nothing like that. Go. Because you don't belong to me. Belong to the people. Belong to the struggle. What is in the best interest of the struggle? Not my fragile ego. Go do your thizzy. Make your video. I never went to tell her, you shouldn't make this kind of video. You shouldn't do that kind of video. Do your thizzy. Get in your lane. I'm passing you the ball. Dump the ball. Score some points. Because anything you do, you win it for the team. Because that's what's important. Not my fragile ego. And I don't own nobody. Talib speaks the way Talib wants to speak. Sister Nova speaks the way she wants to speak. Sister Deity, Sister Ingrid, Brother Omar, they speak how they want to speak. You don't see me get angry at nobody. I give my opinion in the end if I feel as though that's whatever is just something I just can't get with. But hey, I can work with you. We on the same team. So I don't want you to get it twisted that we need somebody. We don't need nobody. I was here before all these suckers came on YouTube. I was already here. Me and my 10 subscribers and 10 views. And they tried to destroy me. But I am like the phoenix. I keep rising from the ashes. I said this in my conclusion. Why do I rise from the ashes? I rise from the ashes is because there are people, there's an audience that want me. They want to hear this voice. I am wanted. Whether you like it or not, Angel Snub Dub 7 is wanted. And actually, I'm the best for you. But it's like children. Children will eat candy. And something that will give their teeth decay. Instead of something nutritional for their body. I don't eat, I don't want no spinach. I don't want no broccoli. I want this donut. And I want this soda. Things that destroy. Because it's sweet. Because it tastes good. The broccoli don't taste that good. The spinach don't taste that good. But it's good for your body. You get sick. I don't want no castor oil. Because it's terrible. But it, that's what's going to help you. 
over your sickness. So I don't want no angel snub number seven because he tastes bad. He don't make me feel good. He ain't sweet. I'm not a god. I'm not a goddess. I'm not special. My melanin is not special. I, I can't see out my third eye, you know, with angel snub number seven. It's not real. And truth hurts for those who don't like truth. I love truth. I love reality. So those things have never hurt me. But it hurt you because you've been in this fantasy world for so long. And you're a child in your mind and you want everything to be sweet. Give me some candy. Give me some bubble gum. Give me a charged blow pop. I want something to suck. So, hold on a minute. All right. Yeah. They want somebody to cuddle them. They want somebody to make them feel smart when you're not. Y'all not smart. You're not no damn scholar. You're not no doctors. If you was a scholar and you a doctor and you a god and a king and a queen and all this nonsense that you're talking about, why are you still in the condition that you're in? You're not changing nothing except the bank accounts of these parasites that's leeching off of you. And you give them your dollars and your dimes and then they throw it up in your face. Look at the Mercedes Benz that I bought. Look at this big house that I bought. Thank you, sucker. You're a sucker. You will never see me come here. I don't give a damn if you donated $2 million or $3 million or $500 million, I would never come on here unless I know that you got what I got and brag about, oh, look at my new car I got and my big house and all that kind of stuff. Unless you got it. So if I'm running around here showing you my brand new Mercedes Benz, my, my brand new, uh, uh, what's that car that the, the, the rich likes to, uh, uh, I forgot what that car, Rolls Royce. If I can drive around a Rolls Royce, then you can too. So I would, I would be telling you about my Rolls Royce and I'll be asking the deacons of reality, How's your Rolls Royce doing? Uh, hey, man, it's, it's doing fine. This is a real nice car. I know that's right. We all going to be having Rolls Royces. We all going to have swimming pools. We all going to be the same. Brag about what I got after I beg you for your, for your dimes and dollars. And plus, I'm not interested in those things anyway. The only thing I'm interested in is to, to stop this ring around the roses garbage and become liberated once and for all. That's what I'm interested in. These people trying to uh, uh, formulate what they want. It's not about what you want. It's about what is in the best interest of the people that you claim that you're working for. That's what it's about. Not about what you personally want. So clearly, you don't understand who they are. You want them to be like you. You're trying to convert them to be like you. It's never going to happen. Never. So we have to work with us from where we're at and how we're different. And focus on how we are similar, how we're the same. And we're more similar than we are different. I don't care about you 
married to a white woman or a white man. I don't give a damn. That's your life. It's none of my concern. I don't care because because y'all know that I I don't I don't uh, I consider pet ownership as slavery. I'm not into pet ownership. But you got your dog in the house, your cat, your mouse, or whatever animal you you have put into slavery. <laughs> That's not. I don't have. I don't have nothing to do with that. I let you know how I roll. I don't do it. If you do it, I mean it's, that don't harm me. I would advise. I don't think that we should do that, but that don't bother me none. The number one priority is being position so that you can control resources. You don't have to own no damn resources. As long as you can control it and use it. Who gives a damn who own it? As long as it benefits you. I do not never in my life, and there's a lot of people. Do you know there's a lot of people who never buy a car? They lease the car every year. They never buy the car. They lease. And the car that they lease takes care of business for them. They go to work. They use it for Uber or whatever the hell they want to and give that piece of, once they use it and abuse it, give it right back to the owner. You don't have to own nothing. Just be able to use it. Like some of these wacky ass men use women. You don't own her. You just want to use her for your benefit, for sex, make her go to work, and you can keep your ragged ass home and play video games all day. Just use her, and then when she used up, let her go, find you somebody else to use. Has nothing to do with, with love. What love? What love got to do with it? <laughs> it don't. We have to learn how to be flexible in the mind. We have to learn how to think for ourselves. We have to learn how to be wise. Because anger and emotion does not allow us to think properly. When we think emotionally, that's what, look, I'm going to say this in my conclusion. That's why. I end up in the crazy house because I was filled with emotion. So that denied me proper thinking, thinking the situation out. And you see what happened. I paid a high price and actually I could have, I could have uh, lost my life also. Because I'm emotional. I'm angry. I'm going to get you. I'm mad. I had 10 years in the crazy house to think about my stupidity. So you think I'm going to come here and not share with you what I learned from my stupidity? It's a better way of doing things. Our anger, our emotion is not going to get you nowhere. All that feel good rhetoric and that's not going to get us nowhere. You got to be able to think. Think. That's the only way I was able to get out of my situation. I had to learn how to think and seek out real knowledge for my problem. You have knowledge but it's not the right knowledge in order to solve your problem. Because if it was, your problem would be solved. So don't get it twisted. We got it now. Everything is here. We have it now. The only thing we have to do is implement it. This is the time. Time is on our side. Everything has fallen into place for us. The only thing we have to do is think. Think. 
caught up in all these fairy tales and feel good rhetoric and all this stuff that clearly is not working. If it was working, I would give you credit. I have no problem with that. It's not working, people. And the reason why you hold on to it is because you're comfortable in the oppression. You have a decent job. White man give you a good job. Uh, you get to you get to run your damn mouth 24 hours on YouTube, and you get that AdSense money and Cash App and GoFundMe and uh, Chat Chat App or whatever all that stuff. And you're comfortable slaves. So you're not serious, really. You're not serious about your liberation. That's why you stay the hell away from me. Those who come here, we can't do it by ourselves. But we're serious about ours. Serious as a heart attack. I'm not playing no game. And if you come up against me and I didn't do a damn thing to you, don't cry when I hit back. Because I haven't done nothing to none. I have not done nothing to this God Nollywood piece of trash. I've done nothing to that Alquine piece of trash. Done nothing to none of these people. Why should I? But if you make mockery of me, you come at me, I'm going to come back at you. They call me Sambo, Uncle Tom, and all these different names. Uh, 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 uh. Countless names. But then I'm going to sit back and cry and take it. Oh, no. You're not the only one who can call people names. You're not the only one that can, that can fire some stuff back. And I fire back and they cry. <laughs> he did. Uh, he, ah, ah, he cried. If you can dish it out, you should be able to take it. But the main thing that hurt them is the real truth that comes from this platform. That's what really hurt them. Because I expose how weak their ideology is. I expose the fairy tales and their cartoons, their immaturity and silliness. And I tell them they are a bunch of losers because that's the truth. Show us, show us what you, what, where you won. You're a loser and you're proud to be a loser. You want somebody to, 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 to color you and play with you like you're a winner. You're not. You're a bunch of losers. We've been losing in this country going on 500 years. I want to win. It's time for us to win. All that losing stuff to me is unacceptable. It's unacceptable to us who come to this platform. We're winners here. I want it all or nothing. We want all or nothing. So on that note, those in the chat room, those who will be who are listening and those who will be listening later to this broadcast, it's always an honor. I'm Angel Snub Number Seven, and we are the five thousand. Love, peace, and soul. She's so divine, the charm of the girl, the strength of the world, like a diamond in the world. She's sweet, but she's tough. She's neat, she's a mouth. It's a business with a smile. The woman too's cool when you're rude. Sweet when she puts down, the wrong she'll dismiss you. Such style and such grace. She brings class to the place. When she walks through the room, you'll have to assume that she's a, she's a lady. Oh, such a lady. She's a lady. Oh, yeah. She's a lady. She's a lady. She's a lady. She's a lady. She's a lady.
Thank you. 